Okay, so in this video we're going to calculate interquartile range, and the interquartile range works better than the range because it ignores outliers. So rather than taking the largest and the smallest number, we take the number that is three quarters of the way in and one quarter of the way in, and we subtract them. So just to show you how it works, we first of all find the halfway point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I believe halfway would be here, and we can check it because there's ten numbers over here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers on the right. So it must be halfway. This is called our median which is 2.5. Now you don't need to calculate the median for this, you just need to find where it is first. Once we've found the middle mark, we then find the middle of the top half, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which will be here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is called quartile 3, or the third quartile. So quartile 3 is 3.5, halfway between 3 and 4, and then we find the middle of the bottom half, Two, three, which belongs here. Notice that we've got five numbers on each side, and this is called quartile one or the first quartile. And basically, we've found the quartile marks, and this is what we use to calculate interquartile range. So, our interquartile range for class A is 3.5 minus 2, which is 1.5. Okay, so now let's find the interquartile range for class B. So if we find the halfway mark, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so it should be the ninth number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is our ninth number here. Now this is a little different. Last time we drew a line between two numbers, but for this one, we actually have to circle the 5, and you'll notice we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the other. So sometimes you put a line between two numbers, and sometimes it lands on a number, for instance, the 5. So median equals 5. Now that we've done that, we need to find the halfway point on the top half, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It'll go between the 7 and the 8, or 7.5, which is quartile 3. And for the bottom half, we want four numbers on each side. Quartile 1 is 3.5. Okay, so when we do the interquartile range, that's 7.5. Um, looks like a 2, that's all. For class, for class B, we're going to go 7.5 minus 3.5, which gives us a 4. Now, what you'll notice is that class B has a higher interquartile range. And as we mentioned in the last video, a higher range means more spread out, and a lower range means cl grouped close together, which is perfect because we want class A, this is class A here, we can see that class A is grouped closer together, while class B is all spread out. So our interquartile range has, is a good indicator of how spread out our data is. So in the question it, it asks us to find the interquartile range for classes A and B, which we've done. And what do we learn from the interquartile range? Well we learn that class A is grouped close together, and class B is spread out. 